Reporting from February, this is Taylor from Airtable. We're kicking off this month with some just shipped features to help you move faster and get more done, together with your team, of course. It's time for what's new in two. What's new? First step are some updates to help you confidently manage your data. Since 2021, we've been working on ways to make bulk field management easier. Our latest update lets you delete multiple fields at once. If you have a ton of fields your team no longer uses, all it takes is just one action to get rid of them. No need to spend time manually deleting them one by one. You can also quickly undo this action if you change your mind. Next are some big security improvements so enterprise developers have more control over access to data. New API authentication methods like personal access tokens and OAuth integrations allow you to ensure your company's data is being shared with the right people, keeping you up to date with today's security standards. And closing out this month is a batch of small features that pack a punch when it comes to your user experience in Airtable. For one, users no longer have to manually identify themselves when submitting a form. That information is captured in the back end, as long as the user is signed into their Airtable account. We've also added new fields to the field manager, so you can quickly see who created the field and when it was last modified. Our third update lets you mark all of your notifications as red to get rid of your alerts. And finally, the comments section has been enhanced with a new activity feed menu and other changes to make it easier than ever to collaborate with stakeholders and partners. And that's what's now available in February in two minutes. Subscribe to our channel to stay informed about all that's new in Airtable.